Hey guys, Garrett here from iOS Pro today. I'm going to show you guys how to enable Siri 2.0 on iOS 18 today. So let's get started. All right, guys, so in order to enable Siri 2.0 on iPhone or iPad running iOS 18 is, first thing, you'll need to download this tool on a Mac or Windows called Cowabunga Lite. For me, I'm going to click Mac OS 12 Plus. If you're on Windows, you'll click this button. Next, you'll need to download the file that will enable the new Siri interface. We're going to click Download. Both links for these files will be in the description below. All right, so now we're going to open Cowabunga. All right, so once you get this message on a Mac, this is totally normal. We're going to click Done. Now I'm going to open System Preferences. Go down to Privacy and Security. Go all the way down to Open Anyways. Open. Now I'll lock that. All right, so there we go. So once we're at this page, now we're going to connect our iPhone. Go ahead and click Trust. Let me enter my passcode here. All right, so now we're going to click Refresh, and there we go. So now to enable this, we're going to go to Custom Operations, Import. We're going to go to Downloads here. There we go. Open that. Now we're going to click Edit, Enable, go back. Now we're going to go to Apply, Apply Tweaks. And that will restore the iPhone from backup. All right, so there we go. Now the iPhone will restart. All right, guys, so now the device is done booting up. The setup process is totally normal. Click English. Click United States. Continue. Click Continue with Partial Setup. Set up for myself. And this step could take up to a minute to process. Guys, so I'm back and the setup not finished. And you can see I still have all my data here. While doing this for the first time, when you press and hold the power button, you will get this message right here. This is totally normal. And this does not affect your data in any way. So when you tap and hold the power button now, we now get the new Siri 2.0 interface. As you see, there's a nice color ring that wraps around here, changes color as we talk, and a new transcript up here as well. Really nice. And when we double tap here, and we now get type to Siri before we double tap. See, cool little color ring around the transcript box and a button or an icon here. We also get a button to change from typing to voice. And this does work on iPad as well. So that's how you enable Siri 2.0 on iPhone or iPad. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Peace out.